shins have been sold and we have acquired over a two mil cash stack. This is the third episode of Max Set from Scratch. We're still level 34 with 51 range, but that is all about to change. If you guys have missed the first two episodes of the series or you're wondering what's this about, please check the description and you'll know everything you need to know. Anyway, we are about to get ourselves to 55 magic very, very quickly, and we will need to buy a few things for that. Okay, we've just spent a little under half of our cash deck on runes for fire strike and three over 3k laws and there is a reason for this first thing we're going to do is go get ourselves 25 magic real quick and to do that we're just going to splash with uh these mind and fire runes with fire strike all right we splashed to about 23 mage but now i've actually decided to buy myself some magic pots and i'm going to be training mage using teleports now you actually have to be 25 uh, magic to vow teleport but obviously i've potted up to use it and i'm going to do the same thing so i can lumberage teleport faster I can follow or teleport faster and stuff like that, which in the long run will save me money and will actually be better XP per hour. So, shout out to Magic Pots, because they're like 200 each, the cheapest thing in the world, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. And we're 27 Magic now, so if I'm not mistaken, we can actually pot to Lumbridge Telly. So we're going from 35 XP per cast to 41, which is pretty nice. 33 Magic, let's sip another one of these, and we can now go to Falador. And we're going to keep doing this until 41, and then we're going to start uh, Camelot teleporting. 41 Mage, let's sip another one of these amazing potions, and let's take our way to Camelot. 55 XP per cost now. Alright, 45 Mage, we can stop sipping these steroids and click our hand off for the next two hours while we get 55. Alright, so we are 55 Magic, which means we have unlocked High Alchemy. Now, our first build that we're going for is a Baby Pure, and that means we need TB, which is at 85 Mage. Now, obviously, 1 mil is not going to be enough to get us to 85 Mage, but it will be a nice little number to start us off with. We're just gonna buy like 1k Alks, which will be like 1k Nats and 1k of something else. And then we're gonna start questing, which will get loads of these stats up. So let's go buy those. So I bought 600 Ruby bracelets for 1,160 each. Obviously I can't buy a thousand of them because I don't have enough money. Um, I'm gonna be losing 50 GP per Alk on these. So every uh, 1k Alks, I'll be losing 50k. There's nothing really you can out for profit that buys in time in this day and age. So I'm just going to have to be okay with losing money, obviously. It should be fine. I think the coins... Oh, no. The coins go there. I'm uh, probably just going to be alking these while I start my quest. So let's get started. Now, the first quest I want to get done is Animal Magnetism, which requires some pre-requests. So we're going to get started with the Restless Ghost. Restless Ghost completed. It literally took us like two minutes, and we've now gone from one to nine prayer. Next up is Ernest the Chicken, and let me tell you, this quest is going to be so much nicer than uh, doing it on Deadman mode with 50 Bone Crossbow Raggers chilling outside the mansion. And that should be Ernest the Chicken completed. A whole 300 coins and four quest points. We're still alking away, haven't got a level. Next up is Priest in Peril. I got nothing better to do right now. Priest in Peril started, let's go. Just finishing off Priest in Peril. Nice, and that gets us to 15 prayer as well, so we're now 38, almost 39 combat. Okay, unlocked Mortania. Now we need to go get some skill requirements before we can do Animal Magnetism. We need to get 18 Slayer, 19 Crafting, 35 Woodcutting, and uh, we don't need 31 prayer because we're not an Iron Man. So let's go bang those out real quick. Okay, first Slayer task is Dogs. Uh, I think I can do this in like Ardon, or I'm not sure where else I could do it. Okay, I've actually decided to do level 44 guard dogs, uh, north of McGrubber's Woods or whatever. I can safe spot them outside this gate, but they are higher level than me, so this might take a little while. And we have to get 18 Slayer, and we have 43 of these. I've got 1k Bone Balls, hopefully that'll be enough. 10 Slayer, 8 more levels, and we have 19 more of these to go. First Slayer task completed, we only have 14 Slayer, we need 4 more levels, so I'm gonna go get another task real quick. Okay, let's get another assignment. I need another assignment. What are you giving me? Spiders. Okay, where are we going to kill these? I'm actually going to kill the spiders in the stronghold of security, and I actually haven't done this yet, so uh, I can get my 10k. Just realized I just got 56 mage. I didn't even realize. Okay, here is where we will be uh, killing the spiders for today. They are level 24, and they're in the stronghold of security. We have... How many of these do we have? What, what did I just do? Slayer partner? We have 40 of these to go. I don't actually know how much HP these guys have. But I don't know, they look like they don't have a whole lot, so I don't know if this is going to be enough to get 18 Slayer. There are giant spiders we could be killing, but they're level 50, and they would fuck us up. Like, even these spiders are hitting fours on us, so probably not the smartest idea. Let's bang out the Slayer. Another Slayer Master, uh, well, the Slayer Master done? Another Slayer task done. We are still only, uh, 16 Slayers, so we actually need to go get another task. I wish I was, like, 40 Slayer and I could go get one from Vanica. I'm sure there's other ones I can get to, but I just can't be bothered to go there. 
All right, probably our third and final toss for a little bit. 44 skeletons, easy. I actually decided to safe spot these skeletons underneath the Varrock sewers, and that is uh, 18 Slayer out the way. We're not going to finish the toss. We can do it later. Um, we're just going to go get 19 crafting now. 7 crafting. We can now make gold uh, bracelets from gold bars, which will actually make us a little bit of profit, but obviously we're going to be losing loads of money with Owl King and stuff like that anyway. But it will make us a little bit back. 19 crafting out the way now we need to go get 1 to 35 wood cutting 15 wood cutting which means we can now move on to oaks apparently if i get a goblin to like attack me while i do it it's faster somehow i don't exactly know how that works but uh we need to get like 30 until we can do willows i'm pretty sure all right that is 30 wood cutting five more levels we're gonna head off to the willows just to finish this off all right, that is 35 wood cutting. I was going to get 36, but after I finish it, I'll get 36 from that because 36 is a requirement for Lost City. Let's go do Avos. Time to start Avos and we can bring back out our Alches for this. We're also going to out the gold bracelets that we made earlier to, um, that we made earlier from crafting because they out for pretty decent as well. Now, we're not actually doing Ecto for our prayer, but we did use D-Bones because why not? We have to do it anyway. We're just doing this part of, part, part of Avos. I don't know why I said that super weird. Just got a 17 prayer. We're still not 40. Oh, I need to do another one. Um, still, oh, we are 40 combat now, 18 prayer, how convenient. Let's collect our tokens. And that is animal magnetism done. We've gotten ourselves an accumulator, 20 slayer, 21 crafting, 9 fletching, 36 woodcut, and the levels have gone up. Not bad at all. We do not stop questing here, though. Just gonna buy some more ruby bracelets because we have the money to. We'll get like 300 more because we still have to alk those, uh, what's it called? 116. Do we still have to alk those gold braces as well? Hopefully they buy for this. Very nice. And now we are going to go do the Grand Tree, which means we need to buy a Summer Pie as well because we need to boost our agility from 21 to 25. All right, Grand Tree started. Let's finish this real quick. Just got 57 Mage. Not bad. We're still getting up there. The first two episodes of this series have got insane support from you guys, so I just want to say another big thank you. Both videos have got over like 50,000 views in the first day and over 2,000 likes each, so I want to say a big thank you. That's almost never de been done before, and especially on such different videos that I've never really tried out before, because all I usually do is deep wilderness PKing, and you guys have seemed to enjoy this building the account from scratch, low level sort of thing. So I want to say a big thank you. I'm sorry that there's no like real PKing in this episode just yet. Obviously, this is a different series, and I'm showing you guys the journey of how I get to that final destination of PKing. So I hope you guys can bear with me while we just get some stuff done. Demon dead? Mom, this guy just said mummy to a demon. Grand tree done. That puts us to, from 1 to 33 attack, and uh, we don't get any magic levels. We've got 2k uh, mage XP, though. And we went from 21 to 29 agility. Combat level hasn't been affected just yet, but that's very nice. 1 to 33 attack, just like that. Let's start waterfall. Just realized I forgot a rope, which is very awkward. Use Glare's Iron on the Chalice of Eternity, and boom, quest done. We are now 38 attack from 30, and from one strength, we are 30 strength. Still 40 combat, which is nice, because I think we're mainly still range and mage based. But good, uh, good upgrades on the stats. And that is the Grand Tree done, which will be very useful. It also puts us to 41 attack, which means we can now use a Rune Skim. We are attacked just a little bit lower because we're using wines as some of our food. But that's very useful because now we can use this. Next up is Fight Arena. Look at this guy's RSN. I'm trash, bro. I hear that, bro. I hear that. And that is Fight Arena done. That goes puts us from 41 to 44 attack. Also got us 14 thieving. We've literally quested from 1 to 44 attack. That's super nice. We're still range based as well, so it hasn't really gotten us that many combat levels. We could go back to Rune Rocks PKing if we wanted, but we are not done questing just here. Time to start Vampire Slayer. I'm a bold adventurer in this one. Count Drainer dead. This should be Vampire Slayer done. Uh, not 45 attack just yet, though. That was like 4.8k XP and 3 quest points. 58 magic done. Nice. All right, let us start off Death Plateau. We need to do this anyway, and it also gives us uh, climbing boots, and it'll give us some attack XP as well. Death Plateau done, and we now have 45 attack. 1 to 45 attack quested. And we've got 30 strength as well from Waterfall. Very nice. 41 combat now. Next up is Mountain Daughter, which will give us some more attack XP. And it also gives us a little bit of prayer XP too. Mountain Daughter done. Another 1k attack XP. And we are now 22 prayer, 41.5 combat. 30 agility. Now we can get one more quest out of the way, which is a very important one. Horror from the Deep. All right, first we got to do the bar crawl thing. So I need to go buy a bunch of alcohol and I'm actually underage. Bar crawl done. I can also, I also get my vials smashed because why not? And uh, we can now start Horror from the Deep. Time for Horror from the Deep. Let's start it. Dag enough mother dead. Let's go get our book. 
33 strength now as well. Nice. Okay, and we will be choosing the Zamorak uh, book. We won't, obviously won't be able to afford the pages right now. I don't even know how expensive they are, but uh, we will eventually. All right, we finished alking most of our bracelets. We only have the gold bracelets left. It's time to do some serious training on these stats, get these melees up, and get this range up. We're looking for 70 range, 70 strength, and uh, 50 attack. 40 strength? I think we'll get 45, then we'll finish off 50 attack. Just got 45 strength, not bad at all. I'm working on trying to get myself a 3 spot now. Just got 50 strength, we got 50 attack earlier. If we were rich enough, we'd be training with a granite hammer right now, I think which is like 2.4 mil and obviously we don't have the money for that. So I got myself a brine saber for 300k. It's a little bit better than a rune skim. So 50 attack and strength, we're just gonna dump it all into strength for now. All right, we just got 55 strength, progress is going good. Some level 50 in a rune skim just came up and tried crashing me. So I hit him with the, yeah, you think so buddy? Sort of like an MT threat and he just ran back off and hopped worlds. 55 strength, we're gonna be here for a while. That right there is 60 strength. I think I'm gonna train range for a bit, maybe try and get that to 60 as well. So let's go back for that. All right, we just got 60 range, which means we can whip out the red dehyde. I was gonna go straight to 70 before we start PKing, but I cannot train that much longer. So I'm gonna get myself 61 range and then do something else. And that means we can spend a lot of the time in the next episode actually PKing again, because that is what I find the most enjoyable. So let's get this rune crossbow real quick. 61 range, we can now wield the rune crossbow. That is enough range training for now. We're going back into the wilderness, and in fact, we're gonna to go to level 50 wilderness. Okay, so we actually splashed ourselves to 60 mage, and once you have 60 mage, you can start the mage arena. And the reason I'm doing this is obviously the god cape is best in slot until I can do mage cape too. It's plus 10 mage bonus, and I also want to unlock flames of Zamorak, which is obviously the baby pure is what I'm gonna be PKing with, with charge so I can hit 30s. But I can also hit 20s with 60 mage once I get it. So I'm gonna go do that right now so we can actually PK with that low level. Uh, Flex of Zamorak. Still hitting 20s, not 30s. I hopefully the safe spot works or I'm fucked. I don't know if it works if this battle mage moves. Oh fuck, he can hit me. That's not good, is it? Um, try going here? I think we might have got it. I don't know. We used a couple uh, potato with butters, but obviously we don't have overheads yet. And I kind of want to keep it that way just so we keep our combat level low for a little bit. So I found a safe spot and hopefully this works for all of um, all of the phases. Okay, just about finished. Thank you very much for the safe spot. This demon was really hard to kill this final form. Uh, we just get teleported in now, and I'm gonna go claim my Zamorak cape. Got a couple capes, just in case we die a bunch of times, and we have gotten ourselves our Zamorak stuff. Now we need to go uh, unlock it by casting it 100 times in the arena. Alright, we've just done our two, our 200 or 100 cast, 200 runes. Please don't get stacked out while we're pulling this. Is that even possible? Okay, no, we've unlocked it, which means we can actually go PK with Flames of Zamorak. Okay, get, getting everything done has cost quite a bit of money, so our cash deck is sitting at around 650k, and we have like 250k of other stuff inside our bank. We're just going to get ourselves kitted out to PK now. So at the start of this episode, we are level 34 combat with no other stats apart from 50-something range and like 12 magic. In this episode, we've gone up to 60 mage, 61 range, 60 strength, 50 attack, and we've also unlocked Flames of Zamorak. Well, this also means we can use a Gmol as our spec weapon, and we do have our basic tribe PKing. Obviously, this isn't a finished baby peer. A finished baby peer would have 70 range for Black Dehyde, and it would have 85 mage for Teleblock and for Charge, and it would have probably, like, I don't know, between 65 and 70 strength. It's not finished at 60 strength. So we still have a couple ways to go, but you guys know me. I like to PK. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and in the next episode, we will be doing some very low-level tribird PKing with this gear. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.